So the ACFTA stands for the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement. Members of the African Union in 2012 decided to create a single common market for Africa. And uh, this seeks to um, improve intra-regional trade in Africa, you know, uh, improve industri industrialization, improve infrastructure with the aim of alleviating poverty in Africa. If this uh, idea is implemented and, and goes ahead well, um, it seeks to be the, one of the largest common markets in the world in terms of the number of uh, member states. Africa has 55 states. And uh, also it will be the largest in terms of the revenue that, is, um, that will be gotten by you know, people who are trading in the continent. I strongly believe so because um, currently Africa is not trading with itself. Uh, African countries export more than the, more abroad to other continents than they do with each other. And the uh, reason being that African states themselves have erected numerous trade barriers in the continent, which has made it very difficult for African people to trade within the continent. Also, you will look, you'll see uh, other issues like uh, taxes. Taxes in Africa are very high. African countries have some of the highest taxes in the world. And as you know right now, traveling within the continent is very expensive. It is said that traveling from UK to an African country is way cheaper than traveling within the continent, which is something that shouldn't be happening in the 21st century. Therefore, if we move ahead with uh, connecting Africa under a single market, it means uh, African countries get a chance to standardize some of these things remove trade barriers, uh, improve on tax regulations will be lessened, and African people will be able to trade easier. So I strongly believe that the continental free trade area, if implemented and if it goes ahead well, and if it is embraced to its totality, it seeks to alleviate the poverty that we now have in Africa and the, the you know, common statements of Africa being the haven of poverty and Africa being among third world countries would be a thing of the past. So currently, uh, African countries are divided into regional economic communities, uh, which we call RECs. And uh, a good example here in Nigeria is ECOWAS. In East Africa, we have the Eastern African Community. In the Southern Africa region, we have SADAC. And we have another one for Central African regions and the North African regions. We also have COMESA, which has members of like uh, different uh, countries in the East, Central, and Southern Africa. These regional economic communities exist right now. However, most of them have not been able to implement um, some of the goals that they, they wrote down when they were coming together. For example, uh, Eastern African community sought to have a common, uh, common custom union, but the same is yet to be implemented. Also, um, there was an idea that to, to enable all members of the Eastern African community to travel around each other, each other's countries with an identity card. An identity card is something that everyone in the Eastern African region who is 18 and above is supposed to get, which is easier to acquire than a passport whose process is very bureaucratic, lengthy, and expensive. However, only three members of the Eastern African community accepted to that idea, which is Kenya, Rwanda, and Uganda. Tanzania and Burundi did not accept and they, they, they have been stalling. Therefore, you can only travel to Kenya, Uganda, and uh, Rwanda with your identity card. Had the members accepted, the next move was to get an all Eastern African visa for those who are traveling into the, country, into the region. You know, Eastern Africa houses some of the greatest and most celebrated national parks we have, like the Serengeti and the Masai Mara, you know, which features the great migration of wildebeest that thousands of tourists come to see. Focus on the regional economic communities makes sense, but seeing how they have been able, they have failed to implement the goals that they have had right now is a challenge. However, what I will say is at least we know that the regional economic uh, communities stand as as like building blocks of the Africa Continental Free, Free Trade Area Agreement. So at least we have a place to start from. We're not starting from zero, thanks to having regional economic communities. So uh, the critics to creation of the 
Africa's unique common market have been arguing that already as it stands, uh, the SMEs, which are the majority kind of enterprises we have in Africa, are struggling to get customers for their businesses. Uh, or, you know, and farmers are struggling to get sales for, to their produce and are having are being forced to sell at a very throwaway price to brokers. And so uh, critics are saying that as it stands, there, our people are really struggling in trade. Opening the borders means opening uh, the countries to more competition from outside, and which would lead to maybe increasing the poverty instead of making people wealthier. And to them, I have this to say, there is a lot of misconception and especially a lot of fear about what is to come. However, we are not giving this uh, free market system a chance. And I think considering the situation in the continent right now, we need to do as much as we can to make sure that we are improving the situation and alleviating poverty. And then I think it is time that we actually implement free market in Africa through the African continental free trade area. While competition increases, it means commodities that we have currently in our supermarkets will be more qualities will improve, varieties will improve, and everyone in society, irrespective of your level of uh, income, like low, low income, middle class, high class, everyone will be able to get the commodities that they want at affordable rates for them. Competition means that the existing business people will have to improve their quality. So, you know, African people, we know that because of the situation in our continent, many people go away with poor services, uh, low quality products in the name of it is African, so they are used to it. But with increasing competition, it means that we stand to get better services and better commodities at a good price, at a competitive price. And you know, now business people will be taken out of markets if they do not uh, meet up to the demands of the economy. So I think uh, critics should give this a chance. And uh, while their fears are valid and yes, competition will go up, but it is the African person who seeks to benefit when there is competition, when there is more value for money.